Girls and boys, welcome to today's math video. This is going to be a review of our last two math lessons, topics 9-6 and 9-7. And our question has been, how can I skip count by fives, tens, and hundreds using a number line? Now we've been using a number line and a chart. The point is we're trying to find patterns. So we said that we could just count by ones, uh, but that would take a long time to help us get to big numbers. So we said that we could count by fives. And you can see the pattern here from zero to five, zero to five. If we count by fives, we can go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and you can see the red ones end in zero. That's a much faster way of counting. And if we look at the green numbers here, it's the tens number that changes. So 10, 20, 30, 40, we're going up by tens, but the tens number is only going up by one. One, two, three, four, five. And the same thing happens when we count by hundreds. Look at those pink numbers. We're actually skip counting by a hundred there, and we can go much more quickly that way. Okay, so what we've been trying to do is get comfortable counting by fives and tens and hundreds, looking for patterns, and these can help us do a little bit of mental math. Mental math is when you use your brain up here to figure out some math. Well, let's take a look at one of the tools that we've uh, seen in our work, a number chart. Now, in a number chart, we can look at the ones place and the tens place to figure out the pattern. Look at the numbers here in red. You can see they go 55, 6, 7. We're going up by 1. And the numbers in blue are the tens. And when we go from top to bottom, we're actually adding 10, 55, 65, 75. And we can use both of these to figure out missing numbers like this missing number right here. So you can use the ones place, nine, eight, seven. What would be next? And you could use the tens place, six, seven. What would come after seven? And we'd get the number 586. So learning how ones and tens work is really important to helping you get comfortable with mental math and skip counting by big numbers. Okay, well that was a look at skip counting and patterns on a number chart. Let's take a look at this here. This is a number line. The problem is our number line doesn't have any numbers. So let's add some. And remember, we don't always have to start from zero. We could start from any number, like an open number line. Okay, now look at this. It starts at 550. And look at any patterns that you might see. Zero, five, zero, five, zero. See that zero, five, zero, five pattern? That means we're counting by fives right now look at this only the the number in the hundreds place is changing two three four that means we're skip counting by a hundred and that'll help us figure out the missing number here at the end of the number line which is 900 right can you imagine if we had tried counting by one to get to that 900, it would have taken so long. So that's what's really great about skip counting and using number lines and number charts and just looking for patterns. They will help you do mental math. And pretty soon you'll be able to add huge numbers without writing anything down. Okay.
So girls and boys, your work for today is in your additional practice book, pages 135 to 138. And when you get a chance, go over to the Envisions website. Uh, there's nothing new there except for a game, which is optional. You don't have to play it. The games are a little tricky in, uh, in Envisions, and sometimes the instructions aren't clear. They're a little hard to play if you're not using a mouse. So if you want to play for a little bit, that's fine. But make sure your other work there is done first. There's still a couple of you that have some catching up to do. And that's it for today's math, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great and happy day. The end.